Hello everyone, I'm Troy Huber from Class Ambassadors Catering, and today I'm bottling up my Grand Pilsner. Uh, it's been, uh, it's been, it's in, been in the cold space for over two and a half months now, and today I'm going to bottle it up. My bottles I bottled it in. I'm going, to, I'm going a different route than I normally go. You know, I usually go with my what's the names, but I'm going to go with these right here today. Uh, I normally go with these right here, so I just wanted to, you know, just switch them up a little bit, and uh, it's going to create a great product. How you doing today? I'm Troy Hubert from uh, Classy Bastards Catering. Chef Troy Hubert from Classy Bastards Catering. Uh, this is my beer, my craft beer series. I got a, I have a hobby of uh, like to create craft beers and for the Mr. Beer Kit system. And this is my second batch. Uh, I done this batch right here on December thirty first, something like that. So I'm on the last part of the straining. This right here is Graham Pilsner. I didn't want to make the video super long, so uh, I done half the process already before behind the scenes. So I'm just gonna pour this last little bit in here. Strain it out. And then I'll finish up with the video, adding the other stuff to it, cause I got two more steps that I need to uh, add to this process to finish this uh, beer off right here. But this right here is the start of it. I'm pouring this here in my strainer. Sort of to strain it. Get all that yeast out. You know I have to put yeast in this, uh, in this mix right here. I love the uh, Mr. Bill system. Uh, it's about my fourth, it's about my fourth or fifth batch I done done. So I've been doing it for probably about five or six months. You know, I'm starting to like it. Hold on. I ain't starting to fall. I'm almost to the very end. Yeah, I have my other batch, my other batch I uh, bottled up what two weeks ago so I fell, fell in. Damn. Fell in a little bit. And just how I strain it. When I uh I strain my wine when I do wine. This how I do it when I do the beer. This is what the, this what makes this process tedious right here. Straining the beer. I'm dark. Okay, let me get out of the way. Y'all can see my face. So after I get this uh, process right here done, the straining it, then I'll get ready to bottle it up. And I got a few things I need to do when I bottle it up. I got to put these in here. These cubes in here so it'll give me my carbonation. So it'll give you the same feeling just like you drinking real beer out the stuff. These are my carbonation drops. And I'll put these in all my bottles of B, I'm going to bottle up. And then I got to add the last step. Sugar. Each one of these bottles get two and a half, two and a half teaspoons of sugar. To finish the processes off, press, process off. This right here is by the recipe of Mr. Beard. It's not my, this is not my recipe. This is the Mr. Beard process. 
So I gotta put two and a half teaspoons of sugar in these. And then I put my carbonation drops. Then I can put it in the refrigerator and let it get, you know, let it let it uh, let it chill. I let it chill for a couple of days. I let it chill for about three or four days. Of course, you know I taste me some tonight from what I'm doing right now, but uh, I let it uh, sit in the refrigerator untouched for about three or four days, and it'll be ready. So, I've been doing beer for the last three months. So, probably another month, it'll be spring, it'll be spring here in uh, the upstate. So, I'll go to uh, making uh, wine again. You know, we got so many great wineries and places up here in the upstate. They got these great grapes. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing a uh, muscadine wine on my next batch. And you know up here in the upstate, you can get them good muscadine grapes. And I'll be experimenting on uh, other, new, other new fruits and stuff. So if anybody got any suggestions about some uh, different fruits you can do to create wine, other than going on to YouTube University and find out, put a comment below. So I'm on my last little bit straining of my uh, Grand Pilsner. This smells so good. So my next step, I bottle this up. I add my sugar to it, and I add my uh, carbonation drops, and then I can chill this, and it's done. The craft beer system by Mister Beer. From Chef Troy, Classy Bass's Catering. Always remember, Classy Bass's Catering. I'll make your food dreams come true. Thank you for watching my video.